court with family already visibly distraught. Moments later, neither she nor her family members were talking. Friends and supporters like activist Sue Caribou did that for them. Not once in my life have I ever seen justice since I was fucking young. Not once do our people ever get justice. I have 10 murder, two missing, and to this fucking day we don't have justice. for a serious government response. The inquiry was launched in late 2015, and today, as the jury deliberated, inquiry leaders said, since her death woke the country in August 2014, Tina's family, friends, and community have shown great strength through the police investigation, court process, and trial. May our warmth and love wrap around of our women um, is a long-standing problem with colonialism and those institutions of assimilation and genocide who devalued our people and who devalued our women particularly and we see this intergenerational trauma reverberating in our communities still today. justice for her? No. The guy got off scot-free. He didn't get charged for anything. When you talk about the roots of what our indigenous women deal with, that's our reality. Susan Aglukar shared her personal story about the lasting impact of childhood sexual abuse by someone who she says was a friend of the family. It is not just a violation of the body. It's an ongoing violation forever of the mind and the heart and your life. missing in 2020 and her remains were later found outside of an abandoned mansion on Vancouver's west side two years later.
opposed to these violent acts, including policing, child welfare, health care, and the social and economic conditions. As a society, we can and must do better to improve outcomes for Indigenous girls and women. Why are things like these marches and these rallies so important to, to still be had? Because it's, a, it's about giving back voices to, to the voiceless, to the women whose lives were mercilessly taken away and stolen at the expense of, quite frankly, monsters and people who don't even deserve that acknowledgement. You can grieve in a million different ways and you can be really, really angry and hurt at the world or you can actually go out and do something. Um, as condescending as that sounds, you, you can. asking for answers as to what happened to their missing loved ones. Family members, leaders, and supporters marched from Maine and Hastings on the downtown east side, where many women and girls have disappeared from over the years. We're going missing every single day.
horrible, horrible stories that you hear across this nation. You would never think that we lived in uh, something uh, so great. On every march you see, they just get bigger and bigger, and the cries of our women get louder and louder. We're, we're still here and we're not going anywhere and we're not backing down.